As hospitals face shortages in health care workers, schools that train nurses are adapting to prepare students for work in the pandemic. New at 6, Jennifer Cleasy shows us how two colleges are seeing more interest in people wanting to help their community. It's been what we've been building towards for our entire lives. Connor Mickelson never expected to be learning to become a nurse at such a critical time. Being able to go and help people and being able to do that in the middle of a pandemic is almost an honor in a sense. It's challenged the students to be able to um, assess health and wellness and illness in a different way. Nursing students at Edgewood College are now training virtually, but still getting some time in clinics. We're interacting with individuals out in the community as well as in the hospital. Interim Dean Colleen Gullickson says soon to be graduates are already getting job offers as hospitals face shortages. We're sort of revisiting that they can graduate, come and work, and then we'll get you to pass your state board exam. Madison College is seeing more interest in its nursing program too. More drive, more desire to be able to get into the profession and you know make a difference and help. Director Carrie Kleminski says pandemic limitations have created new clinic partnerships to train students. It ends up being a very positive connection that perhaps we wouldn't have been guided to without needing to cast a wider net for clinical opportunities. Connor Mickelson has enjoyed the opportunity to help with flu shot clinics as he prepares to graduate this winter. Definitely a little bit nerve wracking, but it's a it's an exciting experience. Ready to take on the essential work he's seen from nurses throughout the pandemic. It really shows you just how a community can come together, adapt, and really power through and help people cope with everything that's going on. In Madison, Jennifer Cleasy, 27 News. Madison College says more people have been interested in their courses than slots are open, but they're challenged with finding enough faculty to teach the classes.